Hello there. This is Cindy at cindybeautyscience.com. Thank you for joining me today. This is my sample card. I have three shots of what we will be making today coming up. Jezebel's most likely going to be joining us with her squeaky bone in background, but I'm combining paper pumpkin kits and you know, I still cannot urge you enough to subscribe to this fantastic kit. It's really saved me a lot throughout the years. So that is my sample card where I used up my basic materials I have on hand and a few of the March paper pumpkin die cuts of no matter the weather of the boots and that sentiment. We're going to change it just a little bit this time to go ahead and use August world's greatest paper pumpkin kit and that's a stamp set. I just showed you how dimensional I made the card. Um, we're going to be using the you're the best sentiment there that I'm pointing to in the bottom right. Top folding a two crumb cake four and a quarter cross by five and a half down. That is a card front from the August paper pumpkin kit we're going to be using along with the rectangles size one and then the fourth in. So I'm going to be using that card front and cutting it down with the largest stitch rectangle along with flowers for every season DSP and bumblebee and do not be afraid to grab a book and die cut it out. I do have our adhesive back on that so I can attach it to that very vanilla cardstock in the back because it is thin, you know, the pages are thin. And then our two punch outs from the March paper pumpkin kit memento tuxedo black, snail plus, stamp dimensionals. That twine is left over from last year, but I'll get back to that in a minute. That's the gilded gold little thingies. But, but, I'm just going to die cut everything right now, but back to the twine. I never present anything in my cards that you don't have on hand that you cannot make with what you have in your house. So if I didn't have that twine there, I just have it left over. I would go ahead and grab our regular twine and take a dark Cajun craze marker and then color in the twine. That is how you get that. So I took the largest stitch rectangle and die cut out from the August card front for the green and then for that bumblebee sunflower pictures from I'm trying to read off my notes here flowers for every season I use that instead of the polka dot because I'm running out of my cardstock here a little bit because I don't have a lot so Using the fourth die cut down again for our second two panels, I'm cutting that out. And that is what we were looking like so far. And sample card over on the left. So now I know I'm sped up, but I'm just adhering everything down right now. And again, everything that I showed to you, you have on hand in your household. If you're a new stamper, beginning stamper, have limited um, products, I make it all work for you because I'm a total minimalist myself. So I got down that panel with the stamp and seal and now I'm putting down the bumblebee sunflowers from flowers for every season. And I'm going to tilt that kind of over to the left with the right corner kind of up to the right and then put that down. None of my panels will be on Stampin' Dimensionals, but my punch outs will. So I'm bringing in that little punch out from the March, no matter the weather kit, which is in Whisper White, you know, with, with a stitch circle. And with me using the stitch die cuts, the, the rectangles, it's all stitched, it works out, and I'm coming down with a cold and I'm on so much medicine that my head is going to blow up, so I'm really trying to make sense here. I'm going to ink that up, and it's not the Rona either, it's just, you know, a hurricane fallout, summer cold. Inking our sentiment up 
in Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to lay that down kind of a little bit more so towards the right. And there's our cardigan because I want to put that sentiment circle up underneath our boost there like that. And if you stamp it crooked, it gives you like a little bit of wiggle room to do that. So I'm lining everything up right now. And, and the rest, honestly, is going to be like totally self-explanatory. But I cannot tell you how often these kits that I save throughout the year, because anytime you get them, like we have September coming up, that is going to be good until we can get refills and the project is current until September of 2021. And so you get all these specialized die cuts, um, patterns, everything that, that to me just really gives me that wow factor and that bump and that boost to anything that I want to do outside the box. And earlier this week, today, I think it came up on the 4th, to where I have a um, patriotic card for Labor Day coming up. And so take a look at that, made from the Christmas catalog. That little part I'm cutting there, leftover die cut, and it's just something to kind of beef up the that panel a little bit there, down towards the bottom. So now I'm bringing in our twine and I'm putting a little bit of stamp and seal on the back there so I can wrap that around twice. And then I'm going to snip it off, grab some like Christmas wrapping tape, you know, just any kind of scotch tape. And I cheat like this a lot because you know I'm lazy and I do cheat and make it work. And stick that on the back to keep that down so it will never lift up. And I'm bringing in the stamp and seal again giving that a nice good adhesive covering on the back since I do have like a teeny tiny bit of bulk there and I do want to keep that flat but with paper pumpkin throughout the year you have a ton of sentiments you get the ink cubes you get a block a lot of design you know exclusive designer series paper patterns everything the whole nine yards and for what, like $22 a month? If you're a new crafter, this is how you build up your stock. So I, again, I really cannot stress it out enough because I do like to go out of the box a lot and this really helps me do it. So now I'm tying a bow, which we all know how I struggle with them. Fresh manicure, but you know, nails got longer this time somehow. Flip the bow around again. It did end up working out for me. And I'm pulling like the bow ears in. And when you do that, keep your thumb on the knot to keep that bow straight. And there we are. So I'm going to be taking off a stamp of dimensionals off the back of our little boots and our sentiment. And you saw how I only use adhesive on the sentiment circle there. That way, if it's crooked, how I laid it down, I can still tilt it up more so towards the right like you're seeing right now and it all works out great. And that may seem like a spring card to you, but you know what? No, I mean flowers are year round. Well, maybe sort of, but you know how it is. Just happy cards are year round right now. So I'm snipping off that bumblebee little teeny tiny piece of cardstock. I'm bringing in our liquid adhesive and then I'm going to grab some tweezers and I'll lay that over towards the right, keeping the stitch detail on the bottom so it vibes with the rest of the card there. And I'm going to get that down, you know, nice and secure, just using the tip of my tweezers. And now I'm going to be bringing in those gilded gold stones there. Rule of odds, three, and lay them down and we are totally in the home stretch now. That is how simple this card is to make. You could use this sketch with every single paper pumpkin that we have right now that is current with all the card stock that we have in there, the elements, the twine, the sentiments, everything. Do not be afraid to mix and match your paper pumpkin 
to realize what's in what's in your head to create what you have in mind and so yeah there we are I, I still think this is like really attractive very fun and there's our sample card again thank you for joining me today I hope that you're all doing well and do not forget to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin we have until September 10th which is another exclusive kit and please hit like and subscribe follow me on my blog at cindybdesigns.com here on YouTube sign up for my newsletter and have a fantastic weekend and I will see you again next week